tonight on Language Day. The different meanings of okay. This news feature is brought to us by CBRC Gumaka, CBRC Marikina, and CBRC Cavite. Okay is said to be the most frequently spoken and typed word in the planet. It is known to have a lot of variations which emerged through the creation and invention of the generations. Composed of just two simple letters, OK anchors agreements, confirms understanding, and choreographs the dance of everyday life. OK is the most grammatically versatile of words. OK performs important functions so efficiently and modestly that people hardly realize how much they depend on it. In the past, OK was not needed to fill a gap in vocabulary because English speakers had done perfectly well without it before 1839. But it inspired a new way of looking at things and actions, OK or not OK, drawing a clear line between making do or not making do, but leaving degree of success unspecified. OK can be categorized into seven different functions. Framing marker, tag position comprehension check, affirmative response marker, as a negative response marker, concession, use to orient suggestion, and as a filler. As a negative response marker, negative response marker releases the other speaker from having to continue speaking. However, it indicates dissatisfaction with the previous utterance. The utterance could have been incorrect, incomplete, or just not quite accurate. Example. Okay. Another example. Okay. And then. As a concession. Concession refers to acceptance of some state of things. In these instances, it is often immediately followed by a but response. Okay. But glancing at the sample statements. Okay. But we should be reminded that. Okay used to orient suggestions. Okay, when used to orient suggestion, means that it functions to mention something as a possible thing to be done, used, or thought about. Examples. Okay, but maybe we should also do it like, okay, and we can also do it as a habit so we can improve on. As a filler. Okay as a filler is an apparently meaningless word, phrase, or sound that marks a pause or hesitation in speech. It is also known as pause filler or a form of hesitation. Examples. Instead, this is the, okay, the most. If a friendly letter is for a friend, okay, then what is, okay can also be categorized into five parts of speech. As an adjective, a noun, an adverb, an interjection, and a transitive verb. The functions and features of the word OK can help teachers be aware of the variations of OK which they can utilize in their actual teaching. Students should be aware of the different variations of OK as to its functions and features for it serves relevant purposes in their study. For instance, through the use of OK as an affirmative response marker, the students can elaborate their answers for it also indicates that teachers or reporters can understand their point and it serves as a cue to continue responding. Watch out for more language facts only here on CBRC Language Day. We ask so you may know. We feature so you may appreciate. We inform so you may decide. We balance so you may judge. I'm Joy Ziranara and this is CBRC News Live Language Day. Good evening. This news feature is brought to us by CBRC Marikina, located at with these contact numbers. CBRC Cavite, located at with these contact numbers. Enroll now!